Hi guys, it's Monday evening. It's coming up to 11 o'clock. Actually, I think look. I've got one good eye, and even that can't read the clock on the computer from here. It's actually 11.01. Mum's going to call me later. Probably between now and sort of half 11 ish. Um. Because, uh. Both her stepdad and my brother, hopefully. It'd be nice to see him anyway. Um, I'm going to come over and the stepdad's going to start doing the ceilings. Look, mum came, came up. Oh, for bloody hell, I got my tongue in a twist. Mum came up today and stepdad has bought the paint for the ceiling, a couple of rollers, that, the post pole thing to put the roller on. Because you can. Extender and this little one here probably for cutting in. I have got some little brushes kicking around somewhere <laughs> If we need cutting in brushes um, But mum said that they got this from a department store called Roy's Roy's of Roxham even though it's in a village called Hoverton they call it Roy's of Roxham Because Roxham is literally the other side of the bridge the other side of the river It's uh Quite an odd setup. <laughs> well, I suppose Roy's of Roxham sounds better than Roy's of Hoverton, but it's been known as Roy's of Roxham pretty much since it opened up, I think, in the sort of late 1800s ish. It's been around a very long time. We've got a store in town, actually. Not a bad store. A little bit expensive on certain things, but really not a bad store. Um, anyway, they've got an offer on, on paints and. Uh, Mum suggested instead of going magnolia, go for buttercream. And I'm pretty certain that's what this lounge on. I can't remember actually if it was this wall. It was either here in the lounge or the hallway. I'm dead certain we did one of those in a buttercream. So, yeah, that's what the whole flat's going to be. <laughs> I said, you know, I said it's going to be easier than trekking all the way to Norwich just to get some magnolia. I said, so we'll just go for that. Anything just to make the walls look, and the whole flat, you know, look a bit more cleaner and presentable. That's why I'm, <laughs> I can't wait to get the woodwork done. But uh, I don't mind doing the woodwork myself. I mean, if stepdad's happy to come and do the woodwork, then he can, you know, he can do it. But, uh... I wouldn't mind doing that. Um, anywho, I have been a busy chappy today. Um, I weren't really busy over the weekend, but what I've done... She loves are gone. Got those down and got them... Um, the holes filled in. I accidentally filled in the wrong holes there. Because I re-drilled holes for the new shelves, because I had a little shelf up there. A very dinky little shelf. You see, there's a there's one there and a bracket there. And I accidentally filled in the wrong holes, so I had to re-drill the two top holes there. And uh, I'd also pulled the plugs out of that one, so I put new plugs in. Because uh, I totally got carried away and forgot that I'm actually putting these ones back on the wall exactly where they were so but uh, what I did to get over there I cleared this table as you can see I stacked some boxes on here and uh, that actually enabled me as well to pull this table out so I could actually get over that I had to do something as well because when stepdad does the ceiling in here he's going to need some sort of access up there but uh, cutting in might be a bit tricky Especially along there, and at least up to perhaps sort of here somewhere. I've got some cable clips I've still got to pull out of that wall. Um, I can take these down in the morning because no doubt he'll start in the bedroom or something. So when he gets to doing in here, I'll take those down and those models. So I've got the shelves here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these ones because I've got these to go in here and I've got the other two that were in the bedroom going on the bottom. That's why I filled in the old holes where these shelves were. 
as you can see, there's, there's a, a bracket filled in there, an old bracket hole. Um, I've actually got to do a repair as well, that's uh, gotten pulled out because I only put short screws in there. I'm going to put these long shelves actually out on the landing in the morning. I might actually stick that bit out there as well at the damn way. I've got a box of uh, My Little Pony figurines and Lego hiding under there. And the bigger Lego sets are on the shelf under there for now. I can, uh, when we come to having to move that to paint the walls, I can just take all of that off there and put it in the other room. Nemo's fast asleep. On a towel. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I've got to put a new bulb in my push light there. I went to turn it on the other night to see if it still worked and the bulb crushed. Somehow it managed to crush the bulb. I think I put the wrong bulb in there. Because um, it's 6 volts so I stuck a lamp in there from an old set of uh, bicycle dynamo lights. Um, and I stuck one from a front light in there which has actually got a bigger glass bulb on it than the ones that go in the rear lamps. Um, so I think that might be why. I think the... Where is it? Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. I think this insert here got caught and crushed it when I uh, pushed on it. I'd even push on it hard. <laughs> That was a stupid thing. I didn't do it hard. Never mind. Um, other than that, not really done a lot. I've got, I don't know how many harvest spiders in my vacuum cleaner. They are driving me up the bloody wall this year. Two more under these shelves. Two. Well, actually, the furthest shelf, the one closest to the window, that had a big one in a web under it like that he'd made a bloody web and made webs under the shelves here that I'd cleared not so long ago and then there was one sitting up on the ceiling as well so I'd had enough by then and it was with the vacuum cleaner bastard things harvest spiders, I'm not scared of harvest spiders they just annoy the shit out of me because I just make cobwebs everywhere Literally everywhere. They're not like a big house spider or other types of spiders that would just make a web in one place and stay there. They've got to make it every fucking way. You know, they go under my bed a lot of the time and they make it all the way along the bloody wall. <clears throat> not just in the corner, all the way along. Although, I have to say, oh shit, I forgot about that crack up there. I might just jump up the ladder and do that. See it? Ooh. I didn't do that. Oh, actually, yes, I did, because that's where a clip was. I didn't do the crack, though. I got a couple up there done. I've got one up above that light to do. I don't know if Stepdad's going to want me to take that down but Thursday I am going to order sticky back clips so I'm going to push my luck and postpone paying the phone bill until my next payday it means when I looked at the dates might get off get cut off for a couple of days unless I can sell things in the meantime you know like a couple of radios or something that I've got I've got one on eBay I've got that grey one over there on eBay that I could sell and put towards the phone bill I've got a bike for sale downstairs I could do the same with that put that on eBay and uh, put the proceeds towards the phone bill because I just want to get the final <laughs> the final few pieces I need to finish this flat including the bulb Ooh for my light fitting which uh, uh -oh. oh here it is I thought I'd lost it 
that that holds the uh, glass or helps to hold the glass thingy on. I've got a little lamp holder here. I've actually got some plasterboard screw things if I need them as well. Here we go. Let's stick that on there. So that takes a screw in. I don't get it. I broke the glass. I think it's glass. This one is a Edison screw, you know. Most Americans will be familiar with this because uh, what I've seen on YouTube videos, that seems to be the most common type of fitting over there. But uh, for some reason, the 9 watt screwing bulb is three pounds more expensive than uh, where is it? That bulb there, which is just a standard British bayonet cap. You know, you just push, twist to lock it in place. That was one ninety nine. The screw in one I need is four ninety nine, I think, or it was last time I went in. I'm sure it was. It was either three ninety nine or four ninety nine. All I can remember is it was more expensive, and I don't know why. The only difference will be the fitting on the end. One's a screw cap, one's a bayonet cap. You know, they're both 9 watt LED bulbs. The main part of the bulb looks exactly identical. The circuitry is probably, most likely, exactly the same. It's just the fitting on the end that's different. So I don't know why they've got to charge more for one and not the other. It just It doesn't make sense to me. Surely it can't cost extra to make a screw-in fitting. Could it? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> it just it just really seems daft to me. But never mind. I get one. I can get that up. That won't happen till probably Friday though, because we'll be busy painting at a Thursday. So he's planning to come over tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday. I'm going over to Mum's Wednesday, hopefully, because uh, I didn't go Sunday. On the count of, they had no diesel, they were skint till today, <laughs> and they had nothing for dinner, so we just sort of called it off. <laughs> and I was in the same boat, I'm skint till uh, Thursday now, I've got a bit of change left if I need to get anything, but don't think I will because uh, mum got me a bunch of bits today she owed me a bit of money because I loaned her some last time I got paid so we're even now that's how me and mum usually work she'll borrow and then instead of giving me the money back that she borrows she just buys me a bunch of groceries <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna be busy tomorrow I'm volunteering Wednesday, 10 till 1 at the local charity shop, and uh, I don't know what it is with people on that Facebook group, on that Regenerate North Walsham group, there's someone on there again tonight, or this afternoon, and she actually said, I often wonder what you do all day, as you're on here as you're on these posts calling people lazy. Well, I've never actually called anyone lazy, to be honest. That was the only post, and that was referring to the council. Because literally outside my friend's backyard, there's public land, which is apparently not owned by anyone, but the council still cut it. But I've only cut half of it. I've missed half. So yeah, I was... Just joking around, called them lazy, you know. But uh, she was calling me and saying I was being judgmental, and I'm like, How? <laughs> what are you smoking, woman? Can I smoke some as well? Actually, if it's going to make you that stupid, I don't think I'd want to smoke it. Smoke it, I don't know why it came out like that. Smoke it! Oh well. <laughs> I just thought. Why? 
did she misinterpret and think I was actually calling the person that, you know, my friend that took the photo and put it up on Facebook? Lazy for not cutting it themselves? No. <laughs> I was referring to the bloody council. Because they missed half. Because what it was, because my friend and her, his girlfriend, fiance, I should say, wanted to purchase a piece of the public land at the bottom to extend the garden, they tried all the local authorities. No one claimed to own the land. So they thought, sod it, we'll just fence it off like their neighbours did right next door. They've done exactly the same thing. Then my friend stuck his big ass workshop, wooden workshop on there. That got complaints and had to come down. Then people complained about the fence they'd put up. So they had to take that down. And North Norfolk District Council did tell them, you know, if it weren't for the complaints. It's a bit of black tape on me. I could see something black in my reflection. I was like, what the bloody hell is it? <laughs> bit of tape. I don't know where the heck that come from. But yeah, anyway, the council did tell my friend and his fiance that if it wasn't for all the complaints, they would have granted planning permission to leave the fence there, but they denied it because of the complaints they got, which meant they had to take the fence down and put the land back, and now no one will cut it. And someone says because it was left full of ruts because of where the fence was, but I know my friend would have uh, wrote a vein that and put it back exactly as it was. And even uh, his fiance said it was done like that because she made sure it was done. And I believe them. So, how snooty and snobby some people can be in this town. Well, I guess it'd be like that no matter what town you move to, you'll get your snobs and. You'll get your ruffians and, by ruffians I mean your hooligans and what not. I don't look as bad now but I cut that finger open. Yeah, what a finger to cut. Hey, I cut my finger today. Which finger did you cut? That one. <laughs> I did though, look. I'm not lying, I cut it. On a bloody can lid, metal can lid. I, just, I want someone to buy that one. I don't want that one. I'm actually watching a job lot for 35 quid on eBay as well. Five, and they're actually uh, quite large ones. But the postage is only 6 99 which is quite cheap. <laughs> so I'm watching them and I'm hoping they don't sell. I'm, my battery is dying. I'm going to quickly show you that. Pardon me. There we go. That's what we've got in this job lot. Um, the description just says there's just there's various problems with all of them. That doesn't say what exactly. So it's an interesting one. Sort of like a top loading tape deck. No radio it is just a tape deck. That, I believe, is just an ITT Golf Electronic Radio. I can't see no tape deck on it. There might be, but there's actually quite a lot of buttons on there. No, they're radio buttons. There's another little tape deck here. And there's this one, which I think is just a tape deck. Might have a radio hidden on the top there. That might be right on the top there. That might be a tuning... Um, display thing. That one's an interesting one as well. Oh well. Right, I'm going to shut down so I can charge this. And I will either tune back in tomorrow after they've done the first wave of painting, which is the ceiling, or tomorrow evening. My left ear has gone funny for some reason. I had like a ring in it and that's gone but now it just feels funny so oh well I still got one good ear 
I will uh, talk to you tomorrow. Hi guys. I am just putting some spuds in the microwave. Oh. Almost stabbed my hand doing this. I don't want them going bang. I was volunteering tomorrow, but it appears that her usual Wednesday lady has decided to come back. Now the reason I did that, you know, in commas is because I get that message on Facebook about an hour or so after I got into a spat with someone on the Regenerate North Horsham group again. You know, to where we were both uh, getting personal. Actually, Rob who's on my Facebook as well, did delete most of our comments. But, uh, it's just some prick, basically. I don't, really don't know why I let things like that get to me. I shouldn't. I wasn't going to say, why is my microwave not on? It's plugged in. Well, that's because I haven't turned the fucking thing on, have I? So, I am... It's just a, a theory. I just find it a bit weird, you know, that after I get into that debate, I then get told, oh, your services aren't needed now, but the old lady has come back. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe I'm just thinking that ass bite, I don't know. Anywho. On that side, I have had a good day. Even if I didn't count. I've actually left that group now. I was just so fed up with the... Well, at the risk of sounding petty and childish, bullying. Just to me, that's what I felt like. And I start to get the impression that fucking potato just missed the bin and bounced over there somewhere. But I just get the impression that some people were deliberately doing it to get a reaction. You know. Trolling deliberately. Because I got told uh, that I was always being uh, that I was always moaning. That was it. I wasn't actually moaning on this particular thread. I was just voicing my opinions. Because we're meant to be getting a coster. And it just worries me that we'll lose more of our independent businesses. Because people would prefer to use Costa or whatever. It's, it's a risk. You know. I wasn't actually moaning. I'm not 100% against a Costa coming. You know, even if I was, it wouldn't make a difference anyway, would it? And, uh, then this same person said I was also moaning on an Argos thread. Because Sainsbury's in town are, um, setting up like an in-store Argos. Because they own Argos, Sainsbury's own Argos. Um... And from what I can gather, it's a bit like a just a click and collect. You can order it and... I think the idea is they're going to have so much in stock at the store. And uh, the rest, you know, you could order online. It'd be like click and collect, basically. You order it, you go collect it. <laughs> um, which I'm actually all for, because... I mean, I did say I didn't, um, I don't understand how they were going to fit it in the store. But that was before I knew it was likely to be a click and collect type store. 
but uh, I never, and even when I think back now, I'm 100% certain I never actually moaned about it. As I've, I've said in previous videos, you know, that I'm actually all for Sainsbury's doing that, and all for having, you know, that type of Argos in town. Which is why I think some people are just doing it deliberately. To be honest. Deliberately just to piss me off. Which is why I left the group. I blocked them so they couldn't private message me or anything. But that was the other thing she said. From what I hear your block list is getting bigger. Well of course. I don't have to put up with anyone's fucking shit do I? to that in a minute. Um, totally lost the thread now. Oh yeah, this guy anyway, we were, I was getting into a spat with. It's just his overall attitude. He claims he loves living in this town and he loves the town. But he was slating just about every business in town. I'm basically saying it's crap. All the cafes in town are crap, which is why he wants a Costa. Uh, QD sells crap, Roy sells crap, everything's made in China. Newsflash, yes, everything is made in China, including all our top brand, you know, expensive items, quality items are all made in China. Or in Asia somewhere. All you got to do is look at the sticker on the back and it'll tell you. But, uh... So I don't actually understand how he loves the town when he's slating it. But yet he called me unintelligent and small-minded. Really? At least I'm not slating all the businesses. Sizz, 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 sizz. Sizz. Apparently some woman left a comment on there saying, I've unblocked me. She unblocked me just to see what the um, discussion was about. So I pissed her off and blocked her. <laughs> Didn't even know she had me blocked. But thought I actually had her blocked. But nope, she's in the block list now. And actually, I uh, do have quite a long block list. Well, compared to all the other social sites I'm on, it's a long block list because I haven't blocked anyone on any of the other social or art groups I'm on, so. I'm just wondering if it actually says how many. Oh, it is quite a long list. Actually, some of these I could probably unblock now because they were just random people. There's a lot of names in here I don't even remember. Well, I think it's only six on the Regenerate group now. Just purely because of all the crap. That I kept getting, so. Anywho, I'm going to leave this here. I've got to keep an eye on that. And, uh... I will report back at some point tomorrow. I'm not sure when. It'll pro probably be 
after they've all gone because no one likes being on camera and my family are all boring buggers anyway I'll talk to you tomorrow okay it's Wednesday evening probably gone about 11 o'clock now actually I know it's gone 11 o'clock um, I don't know if you can actually tell but the walls have now been painted at least in here the bathroom and the bedroom well bedroom's not quite done it's had two coats we've got to do a third because there's still paint old paint coming through reason for that you know we've put a light color on a dark color <laughs> we've got away with two coats in the hallway and the bathroom because we put a light color on a light color so and I think we'll get well we should get away with it in the kitchen and in here when we come to do this next week that's next week's job um, so uh, yeah that's fine so tomorrow's plan which is Thursday I need or will need to run into town um, so I might leave him to it for a bit while I do that because I want to have a look on the market um, he, the bloody guy I wanted to see on the market uh, had disappeared <laughs> well he packed up last time before I had a chance so um, but what my stepdad's going to do tomorrow is uh, third coat second coat in the bathroom because he hasn't done that yet I don't think I think that's what he said uh, and while this in the bathroom's drying he's going to start the gloss work in here you know all around the skirt and board probably door frames doors we've got ten of that uh, crown one coat so I think Roy's has got a bit of a sale on of stuff at the minute um, So in theory, by the time he's done doing all the gloss work in here, he's going to go over this as well, and all the pipes, just so everything is not the same colour. You know, it just adds a little bit of uh, a bit of detail. If everything's the same colour to me, it's just dull and boring. So he liked that idea, and I like that idea. It's a little bit of extra painting, but you don't seem to mind. It was him that suggested it, even though he hates glossing. Um, so do I because you've got to be so careful and it's so tedious. It's not like a big wall like this where you can just get your roller and ch -ch 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 -ch, you know you're done in a few minutes. Literally when he was doing my bedroom I'd literally sat down at the PC just to check Facebook messages for two minutes and he'd done the largest wall. <laughs> so yeah, oh, it's going to gloss all the radiators and everything as well. Basically, all the little knickknacks like that are going to get glossed. Uh, so that's the plan for tomorrow. Monday, we're going to tackle the lounge and possibly the kitchen. Um, I don't know if Mum's busy Friday, so can't bring them over. She might be working, you know, doing her little holiday caravan cleaning job that she's got once a week she cleans this uh, holiday caravan like mobile home thing um, which might be why he unless he just wants a break to do other things Friday Saturday and Sunday mind you I think my stepdad's a bit like me you know the weekend's the weekend we'll have a break at the weekend <clears throat> so Monday we will tackle this but what I will do Friday and Saturday which is why I'm also glad that we're going to get this sort of break I'm going to well obviously put the furniture in place where I want it here don't want to put anything on this yet because I've got to put another black coat of paint on the top because we've got white bloody splats all over it and dust Especially the shelf bit over there. That's not a problem. I'll just grab a 99p can. Or is it £1.20? I can't remember. It's cheap anyway. I'll just grab a can tomorrow. And just quickly uh, go over the tops of everything. 
it was inevitable. It was from the ceilings, you know. White emulsion likes to splatter everywhere. Especially when people have accidents with it. Don't worry, it's emulsion, that'll come out. Mum's going to do the cleaning for me. Bless her little heart. I do feel a bit bad, you know, because they're doing all this for me and I've got no real way to pay them back, you know. Um, I think just over a period of time I might buy them little knickknacks for the garden and whatnot. I know they want some more solar lights and whatnot, so I'll see what I can get. Sainsbury's has actually got an offer on, on solar lights. So... All the rest of it, yeah, it could just be the bloody paint that's uh, giving me a headache. I rejoined the Regenerate group as well. Because I figured, I like the group, I like the debates. Why should I let pricks, basically, you know, push me out like that? You know? Let pricks not allow me to have my opinion. So I'm just going to block people like that from now on. I don't care if they think he's just making his block list bigger. Yeah, I am. I'm blocking pricks. I can't be asked with it anymore. I'm not going to let them bloody get to me. Shit, and that coat ball's empty. Uh, okay. Message my brother, but he's gone offline because I want to know if he wants first dibs on this Acer computer behind me. If not, I'll just put it together and probably sell it. Uh, or, 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 I could, pardon me, recase my Lenovo into this one, so I've actually got room to put a video card in it, because I have got a half decent one. That reminds me, I'm bidding on a KVM switch, an 8-way KVM switch. Do you know what the start bid is? 99 pence. Postage is only £6, so I'm, they're sending it via my Hermes. I've used eBay for so long now, I know what postage someone's going to use just by the postage price. If they were going to send it via Royal Mail, it would be closer to 12 quid. I ain't kidding, it's twice as much to send as... To send... To send the send item? To send the send item. I am tired, by the way. <laughs> to send the same item. I'm like, I'll prove it, look. There's not going to be a great deal of weight distance. Weight difference, rather, for God's sake. Here we go. There's the price. Oh, it's gone down to 450 I thought that was £6. I could have swore that was £6. Or was I thinking of something else? Um, I'm a bit confused, though. He's got 100% positive feedback, but up here it says... Good working order will be cleaned before posting out. See full description for details. But then in the description, he says, Being stored in garage for a while should be working, but sold as untested or not, as not being used for a while. He has five of these. The listing is for one. Clean my garage and I have loads of random... Do you? Well, I did check other items. I only found a box of speakers, which I got up to. 120, I don't really need those. There's one day and 18 hours left, by the way. That is, st that is stupidly cheap for the postage. But uh, it is an 8-way. It's exactly what I need if I just bring up this photo. Look at that. you got your, your actual monitor and your keyboard and mouse, your physical ones. And then each of your computers will plug into these. And they're numbered. And you've got that at the end of it. Marty looked, he even took a label at the power of, took a label, took a photo of the label. Ah, I seriously cannot talk tonight. There we go. Where's the power consumption? There it is. One watt, one amp is what it draws. Well, actually, it's got one amp slash half an amp. So is it 1 amp on the 100 to 120 volt setting and half an amp on the 200 and 240 volt setting? Is that what that means? I'm going to, well, unless someone corrects me, I'm going to assume that's the case. 
Is there any, like, any... I was just thinking there's... It's got a reset button on it. It's got an alarm socket there labelled AUX. But, uh... I was actually just... thinking, how do you switch between the computers? There doesn't seem to be a button like there is on my little one. Um, so... <laughs> well, I'm not going to complain if I get it for a quid, so... Oh, crap. What's that? Yes, I know that's ending soon. Um, there's this one as well. It's got one pound start bid, but twelve pound postage. So I know what he's going to send that as. Let's go and via Royal Mail. Let's just have a look at the front of. Yeah, this has got a button on the front. Look. But I'm not sure I want to pay that much for postage when I know it can be shipped cheaper. No one's bid on it either. But these are the two cheapest units I could find. Uh, Four days left on that. Might go for that one as well, just so I've got a spare. Possibly. What else has he got? Anything? Sometimes I like to see what else the seller is uh, selling, because you never know. You might see something else that interests you. Some video lights, 65 quid. No, oh, that's crap. Fujitsu, Fujitsu scam snap, whatever that is. PS1 controller for a pound. 64 gigabyte SSD. That's actually tempting. <laughs> I got to admit, that is tempting. Alright, I'm going to shut that down. I don't think. Uh, I don't think there's uh, anything else I want to add. There's not really a lot I've done. You've seen what we've done. I would film, but I know stepdad doesn't like being on camera, so i got to respect that. Even though it's in my own home, I've got to respect that. You know, after all, he is... Uh, Doing all this for free and buying the paint and whatnot, so that's why I sort of do feel bad, you know. But I'll see what I can get. I'll get him something for the garden. I'll sit and clean all these handles. I don't think I mentioned that. Yes, I did mention that. Duh. Did I? I can't actually remember. <laughs> I'm getting that tired. But yeah, just in case I haven't, I've got to clean all these handles up and put them back on the cupboards once the gloss is dried. I've got some replacement nuts because the other ones were covered in paint. I've got to find some replacement washers, which I actually don't have the ones I want in my big box. <sighs> can't wait to see it glossed, actually. That's going to look nice. I just can't wait to get that done. Then I've got three days to wait to get this done. Anyway, I'm going to shut the camera down before I ramble on far too long and I end up with like a six hour video. <laughs> so, uh, I will, as always, update you all tomorrow. If I go around the charity shops, I might have a few uh, goodies, purchases and whatnot to show you. Oh, it was a, I wonder what that blue thing was right there. It's a bloody toy car in a box, isn't it? Dumbass. Right. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Right, guys. It's now Thursday afternoon. It's 1... 1... 2.48, rather, in the afternoon. Stepdad's just gone. He's done another few hours painting. Uh, so she got quite a lot done. Yeah, the... Um... That noise is because they're putting a gate in a fence out there so my neighbour can get access to his shed. So there's a lot of background noise, so I apologise for that. But, uh, yeah, everywhere's been glossed in here, it's done. 
Well, I could get him a gloss of that, but if there's any gloss left and he leaves it here, I will probably gloss the inside of these myself. But that doesn't matter too much because, you know, they're closed most of the time. Um, yeah, it's still sticky. But, uh, it should be drying nicely up here. Window ledge is all done. Walls are all done. It's had its third coat in here, so I can, in a little while, I'm going to start shunting all this back. He's in his favourite place. Um, I need to just come down there with a a wet soapy sponge and just get the worst of this paint up that's down here. I'm not too worried about the dinky little spots, but I'll get as much up as I can. Right. That means I can get in here and I can start reassembling a bedroom. Hallway walls are done. I can't put anything on the walls in here because they're not made yet. <laughs> um, I should, weather permitting, I'm hoping, weather permitting, it's uh, going to be nice Sunday so I can help him finish my shelves. I'm not going to either bring them over. Oh, bloody noise. I've got an errand to run. Got to drop that money off for them, them computers. Um, I actually decided because I was looking in um, QDs and these were quite cheap. They're eight nine p. I thought instead of putting screws in the shelves to hang the lamps from that I'm going to hang because I'm not going to put them all on the shelf. I'm going to hang some along the edge. Um, I thought some nice brass hooks like that. They're probably not real brass at that price. But they look brassy. <laughs> they're probably steel just coated. Actually, let's find out. Where's a magnet? I bet they're just steel. Coated in a paint or something to look like a brass. Yep. See, I've got hold of the magnet, nothing else. <laughs> It's a bit obvious they weren't going to be proper brass hooks at that price. I don't mind, they look nice. I've got some flat clips there to put my lamp back up in the hallway because I'm going to start putting stuff up in there. I've got my little LED switch light somewhere. Here it is. I can go back up. I'm not putting a coat hook or a coat rack up there. I'm going to stick it on this wall. I'm going to stick it quite high, you know, up there somewhere. And uh, just so it's out of the way. I don't want all those coats either. Any that I'm not using or rarely use, I'll just throw in the outside cupboard for um, storage. Right. That's got to be swung round. But not yet, because I've got to do that cable. I've got plenty of clips dotted around for that. But I want to go and do these errands. Actually, no, fuck it, I won't do the errands yet. Hopefully, I need a handful of these clips. Oh, I've got a couple of different sizes here. Well, that is not much help. Got some flat ones in here and all. Ow, nails are sharp. some black clips as well. Oh. Oh, these clips. 
Oh, that's a broken one. Why the hell did I put a broken one on there? Right, now I've got a little, here, somewhere, a little container thing full of clips. Heck, you know, I might pull these out the wall, but I'm not going to waste them. Not if they're, if they're too badly damaged, obviously you can't use them, but look at that. That's still usable. I ain't got bloody waste them, right. Yeah, I just want to get that clipped in. It might, I'll have to be a tad careful because that might still be a little bit on the tacky side, but I'll clip that in and that's actually out of the way. Won't get in the way when I'm moving this around. I actually think the container I'm looking for I can't get to. <laughs> I've got a funny feeling it's on here somewhere. Nope. Well, that'll be on there then. Right, I'm going to shut you down so I can get these errands done and I might stick this bed in place now, actually. Much to neat, actually. No, I can't, can I? Because I've got to do this carpet. It don't matter too much down there because it ain't going to be seen. And yeah, fuck them little bits, they can't be seen. I'll do this bit though because it's quite a large mark. I'm gonna get them done. I'll fill the sink up the hot soap and water. Right, so I'm gonna start getting jobs done in here and I will uh, chat to you all in a little while. It might be after I've had dinner by the time I've ran these errands and whatnot, so I'll talk to you after dinner. Oopsie. All fixed. All right, I just want to turn you on again, just for a minute. You remember in another video I said that this cost me $1.99, and I got one for the light fitting I've just put up in the hallway, and as you can see, screw fitting. Good old fashioned Edison screw, good old British bayonet cap. This is $3.99. These are exactly the same, but look, they're all exactly the same, both exactly the same, apart from this bit. If we look at the top, status, 240 volt, 50 hertz, 9 watt. If we look at this one, status, 240 volts, 50 hertz, 9 watt. I just, I can't figure out why this one is like two pounds more expensive. Anyway, that's what I've been up to. I got bored, so... Stick the blob in. Turn power on and make sure it works. And hope the screws hold it up there. Right. Now, as soon as I flip the switch, it should... Hey! Comes on. I'm so glad that was not the sockets. I think what I just flicked off was the uh, left socket in here. I've labelled it on the fuse box. Left bedroom socket, right bedroom socket. Yes, and I did break the one down there and I did have to go and buy a new one to fix it. Anyway, I'll talk to you again uh, in a minute when I've just uh, got that on. That's much better. <laughs> That's all I had to do. When I said put that on, I actually meant put the shade on. So there we go. It's not actually a lot of weight up there. I think the screws will hold if it falls down. I'll have to do something else. <laughs> but, uh, there we go. It's actually not as dim as I thought it would be. But, uh, actually quite like that. Right, next task. Nothing quite yet. Starting to look like a bedroom in here for now. You can see from the wall, look, you can see how much at an angle I made that. <laughs> Whoops. What I'll do though after, I'll see if I can get my stepdad to cut the backboard for that. And uh, I'm going to go and get another one of these and give that to mum. Because I don't need that. I've got no fittings. 
uh, I've decided my toolbox, or at least this toolbox, once the um, outside closet has been emptied of some of those computers that I've actually got to come back in here, it will go in there because I don't really use that toolbox. It's just to store the extra tools in that I don't use often. I should have filled over that bracket mark there, really, should I? Oh well, well I presume it's a bracket mark, I can't see. It looks like a bracket, doesn't it? I'm screwed on there. Right, um, I just want to get all this all plugged in and wired up. I don't think I'll be playing any PS3 tonight because I'm too tired. Too tired and actually uh, quite irritable as well. Due to the lack of sleep. Right. And I want a bath and I'm going to put a bike in the shed. I've shortened the lead on this because I don't need a bloody great long lead. Uh, so I want the six way behind there because I'm putting those two over there as well. So I'm going to need more than the four way. Uh, and also because I remembered I needed a six way at this end. So I went and got one. Which uh, is going to require drilling holes on the wall. I'm not sure I'm going to do that yet until I've got... Can I mount that? Oh, I can hang it on the wall, that's alright. So I was just going to hang it up here like that. That's the other reason I've got a new one, so I had a nice clean one visible. I've got to put my eight way in that corner. Which means uh, I'm dragging this cabinet out again. Oof, I have worked up a sweat. I'm a little bit sweaty, Ooh. but uh, we'll call this uh, flat renovation part one because we've nearly uh, run out of uh, space on the card. So I know that's about an hour's worth of footage I've got already. Right, so this is flat renos part one. I'll start again for part two, so thanks for watching. Oh, some weird noises. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.